a review on solar photovoltaic powered water pumping system for off-grid rural areas for domestic use and irrigation purpose. Abstract utilization of solar photovoltaic powered PV as a power source in water pumping systems has emerged as one of the valuable solar applications. Solar PV water pumping system SPVWPS is used to fulfill the demand of water in the field of irrigation and domestic use. This technology is recognized as a sustainable and environmentally friendly solution to provide water for domestic use and irrigation purpose. The tendency to use renewable energy resources has grown continuously over the past few decades, due to fear over warnings of global warming or because of the depletion and short life of fossil fuels or even as a result of the interest which has developed among researchers doing scientific research into it. This work can be considered as joining any of these groups with an objective of supplying drinking water and irrigation purposes to the society living in rural areas of the country as reported in the literature to serve as a quick reference to researchers and engineers who are interested in the subject. For further research perspective in the field of SPVWPS a few suggestions are recommended. Keywords, solar water pumping, photovoltaic, irrigation, off-grid. Introduction Water is the primary source of life for mankind and one of the most basic necessities for rural development. The likelihood, it is possible to conclude that, there is no moment without this significant factor and, because of this, the rapidly increasing world population growth gives rise to a greatly increased demand for water and energy. Most people in the world still lack access to basic water and energy services. In developing countries, generally composed of several villages sparsely located and with different topography, it is very difficult to extend the electric grid to every location where it is required. In some areas of the countries the traditional water pumping systems powered by diesel or gasoline engines have been used for a long time, but fuel cost escalation, transportation problem, lack of skilled personnel make the conventional water pumping system unreliable and expensive for rural communities. Although a large amount of high-quality water is present in the world, often it is not available at locations where it can be readily used. This raises the need to pump high-quality water from its source to the locations where it is in demand. For this purpose, water pumps have been in use for decades. No days, different researches have been carried out all over the world and their results show that, Renewable energies are the best alternative energy sources to replace fossil energy. Solar water pumping system is now emerging on the market and rapidly becoming more attractive than the traditional power sources. It is considered a promising solution to solve those challenged issues. It presents a clean source of supplying water for irrigation with low maintenance required and with a reliable system that matches the generated energy with water needs for irrigation. Using solar water pumping in the remote area is environmental friendly, it has low running cost, long lifetime when compared to a diesel generator. Several renewable sources of energy can be used for water pumping. However, solar photovoltaic PV turned out to be the suitable one. While being clean and naturally available, solar energy has been proved to have a direct relationship between its availability and water demand. The solar intensity is high in many locations where the electric grid does not reach and there is a high need for water, all IETAL, 2018, dot solar water pumping systems are an attractive application of renewable energy technology. The results suggest that photovoltaic water pumping systems are technically and economically feasible. Technical feasibility is determined from the maximum power required for pumping water and economic feasibility is determined by comparing present value cost of the photovoltaic and diesel pumping systems. Also, the results of this study suggest that the price of the diesel fuel has increased within the last 1-0 YEARS to make the photovoltaic water pumping systems economically feasible, despite the initial costs of photovoltaic systems. As the price of the solar panels decreases, the capital costs will decrease, making photovoltaic systems even more economically attractive. The use of renewable energy is attractive for water pumping applications in remote areas of many developing countries, Shinda and Wandra, 2015. PV system is based on semiconductor technology that converts sunlight into electricity. 
This is a proven technology but costs more than other electricity generation methods such as power plant based on coal, oil, natural gas, and conventional hydro, AAEETAL, 2008. In present paper, a review of research literature relevant to solar pumping is given. It aims to discuss the updated status and different aspects of SPVWPS and it would act as a guide for the system installation. The major objectives of present review work can be expressed as Introduction of the SPVWPS, its components, and advantages Summarization of the factors affecting the performance of SPVWPS, and Summarization of performance assessment and optimization methods of SPVWPS Studies on solar photovoltaic water Pumping systems the photovoltaic power generation systems have invariable nature. They did not produce any harmful byproduct. They are not extracted from the earth layers and do not return any harmful pollutant to the surroundings. Shandal ETAL 2015, Sharma ETAL 2019. SPVWPSs consist of solar photovoltaic panels, a motor, and a pump, which is depicted in Figure 1. Depending on the system design, it requires storage batteries and a charge regulator, the current output of the system. If the motor uses AC, it is necessary to install a DC to AC converter. Batteryless SPVWPS are low cost, which requires less maintenance compared to battery powered systems. However, the storage batteries have the advantage of providing consistent performance during lean and off sunshine hours. The addition of a water storage tank in SPVWPS is more economical than battery storage backup. The use of solar photovoltaic energy is considered to be a primary resource for the countries located in tropical regions, where direct solar radiation may reach up to 1000 W M2, Gopal ETAL, 2013. Although it is one of the defenseless part of the system, but it can provides the optimum voltage slash current through isolating different parts while also protects the motor from running dry and conserves water by turning off the system. When the tank is full, direct coupled DC solar pumping was first introduced in the field in the late 1970s. Earlier PV water pumping systems have limitations of overall performance of the system due to lack of proper design. Since then, manufacturers have refined their products to improve the performance and reliability. The steady fall in prices of PV panels have resulted in making solar pumping economically viable for an increasingly wide range of applications. Direct coupled DC solar pumps are simple and reliable but cannot operate at maximum power point of PV generator as the solar radiation varies during the day from morning till evening. However, adding maximum power point tracker MPPT, and control slash protections improve the performance of a PV pump, Shandal ETAL, 2015, Musin ETAL, 2017. PV technology is used for generating electricity from the incoming solar radiation. Numerous attempts have been made to evaluate, monitor, and improve the performance of different components of a PV systems, a PV module, Shinda and Wandra, 2015. Dot the source of electrical energy of the SPVWPSs is the PV arrays, Aruha ETAL, 2020. The maximum power point, MPP, depends on several factors including on-site solar radiation, temperature, and the connected load if the load is directly connected, ZACPA ETAL, 2017. For the same amount of power, Array size depends on the efficiency of the cell. Solar cells could be divided into three categories according to the type of crystal, monocrystalline, polycrystalline, and amorphous. The level of efficiencies in production is about 7%, 15%, and 17% for amorphous, polycrystalline, and monocrystalline silicon, respectively, Li ETAL, 2017. Dot the performance of solar PV powered water pumping systems strongly depends upon the configuration of PV array. Photovoltaic configuration refers to the series parallel arrangement of PV modules in the collector array. 
several PV modules can be connected in series whereas several series modules can be connected in parallel to achieve the desired current and voltage from the array, all IETAL, 2018. Dot the design of the PV array depends upon the desired power supply to the pump and energy losses. It may be designed in such a way that it could provide the required power to the pump in every hour of the day. If the regulator and batteries are also used, the PV array sizing will be larger. Further the addition of an inverter to run an AC motor would also increase the demand of power. A tracking system may also be used in connection with PV array to optimize the system performance. The whole system is assembled on a moving framework which follows the sun path or aimed at the brightest area of the sky during partly cloudy weather, Lee ETAL, 2017. Power Control System In general, it is important to control SPVWPS optimally so as to achieve optimal operation of the system and consequently reliable system. It consists of charge controller, energy storage unit, inverter, etc. The charge controller is used to charge batteries from solar panels. They prevent the battery to be overcharged and stops charging process when battery is fully charged. In large-scale PV panel systems, advanced charge controllers are used. They give complete statistics of volt and ampere while charging battery. They automatically disconnect the battery when it is going to be empty. Many control approaches have been developed by researchers to efficiently operate SPVWPS. These approaches include MPPT algorithms, voltage regulation, frequency control, and load matching. Musen ETAL, 2017, Pumpave and Kausalia, 2020. Maximum power point tracking, MPPT, controllers can track maximum possible power from the photovoltaic panel array. Inverter converts the direct current of PV system into alternating current which enables the use of AC operated instruments. Apart from these, few simple interconnections are also used like switches, cables, connectors, Nyan Enya, 2019, the MPPT algorithms can be classified into conventional, normally effective in the case of not having any shading objectives, algorithms and algorithms that are based on stochastic and artificial intelligence, AI, techniques, Chand and Kalamkar, 2016, Turkey ETAL, 2012. In, Musan ETAL, 2017, an electronic circuit is used to produce a fixed duty cycle ratio for the step-up converter to enable the PV array to operate at MPP regardless of solar radiation variations. The quality of matching DC motor. Drive a volumetric slash centrifugal pump which is directly coupled with a photovoltaic is demonstrated by comparing instantaneous conductance characteristics of PV array and motor pump, Elia ETAL. 2014. Several types of DC motors, i.e., brushed and brushless permanent magnet, variable switch reluctance, and AC motors, synchronous and asynchronous, are available for SPWPSs, short and old AC, 2015. Dot the selection of hemotorous dependent emphasize the efficiency requirements that price their reliability and the availability. DC motor seri attractive because if they can direct like connect to the hot voltaic array. PV modules produce direct current, so DC motors are most commonly used in a low power solar water pumping system. S Kumar ETAL, 2020. Solar pump systems below 5 kilowatts generally use DC motors. These motors are of two types: DC motor with brushes and without brushes. DC motor with brushes requires frequent maintenance due to commutator and sliding brush contacts especially in submersible applications where the pump has to be removed frequently from the water well for replacing brushes, Periasami ETAL, 2015. A permanent magnet synchronous, PMSM, brushless DC motor coupled to a centrifugal pump is found to be a better alternative than a DC motor for low power direct coupled PV water pumping systems. This type of motor is small in size and rugged as compared to an AC motor. The cost and maintenance problems of DC motors have resulted in the use of induction motors, IM, 
which require an inverter to be used between PV array and the motor. PV pumping system based on induction motor is rugged, reliable, and maintenance free with increased efficiency and provides more possibilities. For control strategy is in comparison top motors, Chandel ETAL, 2015, Pumpave and Kausalia, 2020. The stud ion performance characteristics of a brushless asynchronous reluctance motor run by a PV generator under different insulation levels and proposed a control strategy to maintain the motor voltage within a permissible range and PV array to operate as close to the maximum power point, MPP, dot they have found that using this type of motor leads to improvement in the performance of PV pumping system, Michele ETAL 2013, Many ETAL, 2019. Dot table 5 BELOW consolidates the study investigations. Reported on different types of motors used in SPWPSs. Authors. Types of motor used. Conclusion. Nisha and K. 2020. Brushless DC motor. Improvement in efficiency of SPVWPS reported. Pumpave and Kausalia. 2019. Asynchronous AC motor and brushless DC motor. SPVWPS using brushless DC motor was superior and more efficient than the system using conventional ASM. Elia ETAL, 2014. Permanent magnet brushless DC, PMBL DC. Cost of drive system to drive SPV pump has reduced using PMBL DC. Efficiency of SPVWPS was more even at low value of solar radiation. Eruha ETAL, 2020. Permanent magnet DC induction motor and AC induction motor. Pumping system using permanent magnet DC, PMDC, motor had more efficiency than system using induction motor, IM. Hamidat and Banayusef, 2009, and, Corboina ETAL. 2016. ASM. The SPVWPS using asynchronous motor found suitable to fulfill drinking water demand and irrigation water requirement of small crops in Sahara region. Periasami ETAL, 2015. DC motor and induction motor. Induction motor gave more mechanical power by drawing more power from PV array and hence efficient compared to DC motor. Abate ETAL, 2013. Induction motor. Overall efficiency of SPVWPS found to increase more than 3% by using induction motor. V. Kumar and Hundel, 2019. Permanent magnet synchronous motor, PMSM, and ASM. ASM machine drive and speed controller had shown good transient and steady state performance. Solar water pump. Solar water pumping is based on PV technology that converts sunlight into electricity to pump water. The PV panels are connected to a motor, DC or AC, which converts electrical energy supplied by the PV panel into mechanical energy which is converted to hydraulic energy by the pump. The capacity of a solar pumping system to pump water is a function of three main variables, pressure, flow, and power to the pump. For design purposes pressure can be regarded as the work done by a pump to lift a certain amount of water up to the storage tank. The elevation difference between the water source and storage tank determines the work a pump has to do. The water pump will draw a certain power which a PV array needs to supply, Chand and Kalamkar, 2016. Authors referred. Type of pump. Finding. Tiwari and Kalamkar. 2016, and, Vic and Clark, 2011. Diaphragm and helical pumps. Diaphragm performs better than helical pumps. Fiasca ETAL, 2005. Divided shaft pump and standard centrifugal pumps. Divided shaft pumps performed better than standard centrifugal pump. Hamidat and Banayusef, 2009. Centrifugal and positive displacement pump. The efficiency of PDPs is higher compared to centrifugal pumps. Energy losses in PDP are less compared to CP. In solar water pumping system, 
three types of pumps are mostly used, submersible, centrifugal, and positive displacement pump. A submersible pump draws water from deep wells, and a surface pump draws water from shallow wells, springs, ponds, rivers, or tanks, and a floating water pump draws water from reservoirs with adjusting height ability. The motor and pump are built in together in submersible and floating systems. In the surface system, pump and motor can be selected separately to study the performance of system along with controller and PV panel. A pump produces a unique combination of flow and pressure i.e. high flow slash low head to low flow slash high head for a given power input. A solar pump is selected according to required discharge, head and other conditions. The submersible pumps offer high discharge and heads. There is no problem of cavitation but they have shorter life because it is located inside the pond and pumping up from the pond. Its maintenance is also difficult which leads to corrosion and seal damage. The centrifugal pumps operate on low head and high discharge conditions. It has relatively poor suction power, Lee ETAL, 2017. Broadly, pumps can be classified under two categories based on operating principle, dynamic pumps and positive displacement pumps. Dynamic pumps operate by developing a high liquid velocity and pressure in a diffusing flow passage. The efficiency of dynamic pumps is lower as compared to positive displacement pumps but have comparatively lower maintenance requirements. Positive displacement pumps operate by forcing a fixed volume of fluid from the inlet pressure section of the pump into the discharge zone of the pump. These pumps generally tend to be larger than equal capacity dynamic pumps. Centrifugal pumps and axial flow pumps are dynamic pumps, Sontake ETAL, 2020. In centrifugal pumps, water is sucked by the centrifugal force created by impeller and the casing directs the water to the outlet as the impeller rotates. Water leaves with a high velocity and pressure at the neath when it entered. Centrifugal pumps directly interface it with the solar panel. Sorry, use it for low head applications. A centrifugal pump has the ability to match with the output of Solar generator. The operation of such pumps takes place for longer periods of it low insulation levels and load characteristic is and close proximity top maximum power point, MPPT. Centrifugal pump shave relatively high efficiency but decreases at lower speeds which can be a problem for a pumping system at low insulation. Centrifugal pumps are economic from shallow to medium lifts, UPT080M. With large flow rates. Axial flow pumps aerodynamic pumps to us the propeller to create a lift action of the fluid in the pipe. These pumps are often used in wet pit drainage, low pressure irrigation, and storm water applications. Chandel ETAL, 2015. Screw pump and piston pump are positive displacement pumps. A displacement pump, also called volumetric pump, has different speed torque characteristics and are not well suited to be connected directly to PV panels. Nyan Enya, 2019. When such pumps are used a power conditioning unit and maximum power point tracking system has to be incorporated between the solar panel and pump. These pumps are of the rotating impeller type, which throws the water radially against a casing shaped in such a way that the momentum of water is converted into useful pressure for lifting. In these placement pumps, the water output is directly proportional to the speed of pump, but almost independent of head, Bora ETAL, 2017, Chandel ETAL, 2015, dot in a screw pump, a screw traps water in suction side of the pump casing and force it to the outlet. In a piston, diaphragm, pump the motion of piston draws water into a chamber using the inlet valve, and expel sit to the outlet using the outlet valve. Piston pumps are remake more complex with a lot of moving parts and require a lubrication and inside the pump wick might be a potential risk in water well. Typically, the series used in low voltage, 24 to 48 V, applications with small daily flows, up to 5 ma a superscript 3 slash day, for lifts up to 150 M, maximum 2 ma a superscript 3 slash day, Chandel ETAL. 2017. Dot the selection of FAP pump for solar water pump in just dependent in water requirement. Height to lift water and water quality. Dot an optimum solar pump is to be selected which can meet the daily water flow and pumping head requirements. Gopal ETAL, 2013. 
Authors Investigation on Performance Assessment of Solar Aim of the Study Pump with Different Ratings of PV Panel Outcome Sontag ETAL, 2020 Development of Algorithm Showing the Relation Between Balancing Parameter, Array Size, and Battery Size Using this algorithm 22%, cost saving of SAPs has been reported. Abdalzadeh and Ameri, 2009. Investigation of the effect of water spraying over solar PV panel on the performance of SPVWPS. Overall efficiency of SPVWPS is improved. El Refe and Hamdi, 2016. Study to assess the energy losses due to mismatching between the PV array and the pump motor. Because of losses actual work from PV array is 84% of the work potential available from PV array. Hassan and Cameron, 2018. TRNSYS-based simulation model to investigate SPVWPS performance under different operating conditions and PV array size. Selection of optimum array size ensures better efficiency and economy of SPVWPS. Core J Day, 2010. Investigation of the effect of cooling solar PV panel by a thin film of water. Daily volume of water and pumping head has been stated to increase. Ferry ETAL, 2020. Design procedure to estimate most optimum size of solar panels required to power a water pumping system for the drip irrigation system of an olive tree. Procedure can be adopted for drip irrigation system for any crop in any county's geographical location, provided soil characteristics and specific crop parameters are well known. Bakelai ETAL, 2011. Investigation of effect of solar radiation correction to the PV array sizing and power output. Significant difference was reported in the solar PV array system sizing with measured data and most appropriate correction to the solar radiation. Optimization of overall solar PV water pumping system. The efficiency of solar PV panel is usually very low, 10-18%. Hence the PV power should be utilized very efficiently. This can be achieved by selecting each component of SPVWPS with optimum operating parameters. Investigations are discussed in subsequent paragraphs. Mazuz and Midown, 2011, investigated the performance of commercially available monoblock CP connected to DC series motor to utilize PV energy. They tested three optimization techniques, namely, I, optimum value of motor constant, 2, reconfiguration of photovoltaic modules and, 3, changing the water head. They reported that none of the optimization techniques was viable for existing pump sets. Buzidi, 2011, used the LLP method to optimize the PVPS for the different sites of Algeria. The LLP was defined as the ratio of time of water deficit divided by the total time of water supply requirement. This technique presented a generalized and practical graphical tool for sizing of SPVWPS. They reported that the PV array size for southern location was smaller than the northern location due to availability of high solar radiations. Furthermore, it was suggested that LLP method could be effectively used in any geographical area for sizing the PVPS. Bakelai ETAL, 2011, developed size optimization model using MATLAB for SPVWPS under the meteorological conditions of Gardea, Algeria. This model was based on different configurations, number of PV modules, and number of storage days, by loss of power supply probability, LPSP and LCC analysis. Overview of performance analysis research. In this section performance evaluation methodologies used in various studies are reviewed to provide further insight to the researcher. Chandel ETAL, 2015, developed a methodology for performance prediction of a direct coupled PV water pumping system in South Sinai, Egypt using a computer simulation program. The program simulates the hourly performance of the system at any day of the year, under different PV array orientations. The system is found to be capable of pumping 24.06 L/day, 
21.47 L-day and 12.12 L-day in summer solstice, equinoxes, and winter clear sky days respectively. The calculated PV array efficiency ranges from 13.86% in winters to 13.91% in summers. Bora ETAL, 2017, analyzed the performance of a solar water pumping system consisting of a PV array, sun tracker, a permanent magnet, PM, DC motor, a helical rotor pump and found that the performance of the system is enhanced when maximum power point tracker, MPPT, and a sun tracker aerated to the system. The analysis of the PV array was carried out using PSPS software. Theoretical results are verified by field tests. Cotton, 2014, developed and tested an algorithm to estimate the long-term monthly performance of a solar photovoltaic water pumping system without any battery storage system for four locations by using average monthly solar insulation input data and estimated the total monthly volume of water pumped with hourly simulation. Sinal, 2012, designed a solar photovoltaic water pump by adding a DC-DC buck converter to provide current boosting to the DC pump. No battery and inverter are used in the system so as to reduce the cost and maintenance. The highest no load speed goes up to 3000 to 3200 revolutions per minute, RPM. The results from the no load test revealed that the integration of DC motor with the centrifugal pump has matched quite perfectly. A direct coupled system without a power conditioning unit, PCU, is compared with DC DC converter type system. The DC motor operating voltage, operating current, shaft room and the discharge rate at different pressures during different times of a day for both systems are measured and improvement in the electrical power output is found in the design DC water pumping system, Chandel ETAL, 2015. Budelhig ETAL, 2017, analyzed the performance of different PV water pumping systems for four different locations in Algeria using typical meteorological year, TMY, data. The study is carried out for three different profiles, three tank capacities, two PV modules types, two PV array configurations and several pumping heads applied to two centrifugal pumps and concluded that PV generator. Costs can decrease if the simulation program accounts for the type of pump, pumping head and daily load profile. The system can be optimized by studying individual requirements using computer program based on mathematical models of a motor pump, PV generator. Otisola, 2019, designed and developed a PV pump operated drip irrigation system for arid regions considering different design parameters like pump size, water requirement, diurnal variation in pump pressure due to change in irradiance and pressure compensation in the drippers. Authors reported that a PV system with 900 WP PV array, 800 WDC motor pump mono blocks, can provide 70 to 100 kPa pressure at the delivery side with a discharge of 3.4 to 3.8 L slash H from each dripper during different hours of the day. The emission uniformity was found to be 92 to 96 percent in a field of 1 ha. It is suggested that PV water pumping systems need to be extensively tested for water harvesting tanks with lower suction head for growing orchards in arid region. Sontake ETAL, 2020 studied and analyzed the performance of a PV-powered DC motor coupled with a centrifugal pump at different solar intensities and corresponding cell temperatures. The experimental results obtained are compared with calculated values, and found that this system has a good match between the PV array and the electromechanical system characteristics. Thea Uthers reported that through manual tracking i.e., changing the orientation of PV array, three times a day to face sun, the output obtained is 20% more as compared to the fixed tilted PV array. Aruha ETAL 2020, investigated the steady state performance of a PV powered DC motor driving an isolated three phase self excited induction generator, SIG, and found that SIG is a perfect load match for a PV powered DC motor with a PV generator for maximum utilization of efficiency. The use of a SIG avoids the need for matching devices or peak power trackers which increases the total system cost. It is found that due to the unique torque speed characteristics of the SIG, the 
utilization efficiency is close to maximum at all insulation levels with no peak power tracking. The proposed arrangement is useful as part of an integrated renewable energy system. Michele ETAL, 2013, presented control system of electrical power supplied by PV to a single phase induction motor which is used for water pumping applications. The overall performance of a photovoltaic system can be improved with dynamic models for the Z source inverter, single phase induction motor, and neural network based maximum power point tracking. Hansel ETAL, 2020, highlighted the potential of solar PV water pumping systems in India and concluded that there is a vast scope of replacing traditional and diesel pumps with solar pumps for low and medium head pumping applications, but the capital costs are very high. Solar water pumping systems are found to be more suitable for drinking water and minor irrigation requirements due to their cost, size factors considerations. Hassan and Cameron, 2018, studied the performance of a PV water pumping system in a village at 30 km of Kita, Niger, to meet Thuader needs of 500 persons and reported that the cost of one cubic meter of water pump by the PV system is more advantageous than other systems. PV water pumping is found to be well suited for arid and semi-arid areas due to the existence of underground water potential, and large solar energy potential of more THAN 6 kWh slash MAE superscript 2. Jafur, 2000, presented a simple method for modeling the output of a solar photovoltaic water pumping system, which relies on easily measurable data. The procedure is applied to a solar STAR1000 pumping system to develop a model that predicts the volume flow rate for a given head and irradiance. The model predicts the flow rates within 8% of the measured values. Thesmal deviation is attributed to fluctuations in the solar irradiancy and unsteady module temperatures during the measurements. The highlights and research findings of performance evaluation studies of PV based water pumps in different countries are summarized in Table 8. Cooling of Solar Photovoltaic Panels The solar photovoltaic cells become heated during energy conversion and also due to the effect of solar radiation. The performance of the system is highly affected by heat generation. Thus, it is essential to maintain the temperature of photovoltaic cells to attain the maximum power output, TAO ETAL, 2012. Many investigations have been reported with cooling of solar photovoltaic panels, Gopal ETAL, 2013, comma, Michaeli ETAL, 2013. To attain a good performance of SPWPSs, Abdalzadeh and Ameri, 2009, made an attempt by spraying water over the front panels of photovoltaic panels. It has been reported that the solar photovoltaic efficiency, the subsystem efficiency and the total efficiency were improved by 3.26%, 1.40% and 1.35%, respectively, at a head of 1.6M. The study also reported that a maximum solar photovoltaic efficiency of approximately 13.5% was achieved in their work. In similar work, Corjete, 2010, studied the performance of a SPVWPS with a film layer of water over the cell surface. The performance of the system was evaluated under the meteorological conditions of Kerman City in Iran. It has been reported that the performance of the SPVWPS was increased significantly by providing a film layer of water over the photovoltaic cells. A recent review of work on cooling of solar photovoltaic panels reported that carbon nanotubes and a high conductive coating provide the best cooling performance for solar photovoltaic panels. Gopal ETAL, 2013. Techno economic aspect according to the high price of the PV panels in irrigations and domestic use by considering the characteristic of the soil type, crop, and the elevation of pumping. Elia, Lee, ETAL, 2015. Mikolev ETAL, 2013, reviewed techno economic aspect SPVWPS and came up with photo irrigation theory for the first time, which is the arrangement with three main levels. A. Settling the requirements of irrigation based on the climatic condition and soil type characteristic, b. Due to the depth of the aquifer sources pumping estimating the hydraulic analysis and c. 
ultimately calculating the peak photovoltaic power required for irrigation. With refer to their analysis, it was shown that photoirrigation system has the potential of being the immense strategies in irrigation and improves crop production, efficiency of using the source of solar energy and water in order to make a suitable occasion for rural sustainable development. Elia, Lee, ETAL, 2015, studied the techno-economic aspects of different components of SPVWPS in remote regions. He carried out extensive experimentation with submerged, surface and piston pump sets run by DC or AC motor. The pump was a critical component and had associated losses during its operation. Also, there is limit of conversion of solar energy by PV system. The author concluded that required size of PV system and pump rating should always be more than the design value to get desired volume flow rate for given head author emphasized that the complete knowledge of the energy flow and losses during the operation, help the designer to arrive at optimum size of components of SPVWPS. Budelhig ETAL, 2017, investigated some factors affect the feasibility of the system such as type of crop, geographic location, climatic condition, depth, and the rate of recharging water, costs of conventional energy, government procedures, and rule i.e. the taxes of carbon and as the same as other, Studies prove that solar irrigation system is feasible when low power needed, which means that from shallow wells or low flow rate pumping from deep wells. Following the method of sizing the PV panel, they concluded the area of solar array necessary land either which is the only important parameters for the technical feasibility of the system. On the other hand, geographic location and the type of crop verify economic feasibility of the system. The capital cost is higher than diesel and electrical grid while the maintenance and operating cost is negligible. Moreover the price of solar panels decreases every day which make the system more beneficially. No technical barrier for solar installation except 1. The availability of the land and solar insulation which is the radiation received over the course of a day at the surface of earth and is measured in kilowatt hour slash m2 slash day and is a critical factor and 2 the area of solar array. Diesel generator. The price of the fossil fuels increase significantly each year which affect the economic feasibility of the system who works with diesel generator. In addition, since diesel generator consists of air, oil, fuel, water separator filters with lubricant oil change and engine coolant change which all affect the operating and maintenance cost of the system and total cost will be the sum of all of them. As this system consists of many factors. Diesel generator is feasible technically when all the parameters are feasible. Electrical grid connection. The maintenance and operating cost of the system is negligible. Same as the diesel generator. Economic analysis. The economic analysis is very important to compare quantitative cost and benefit information. The objective function of standalone solar PV battery system is the cost of energy, Co. The Co is most commonly used energy metric. It is also a benchmark tool to assess the cost viability of different energy projects. Co states the unit price of energy by considering the present value of total incurred cost over lifetime of the project, such as investment cost, O&M cost, and replacement cost. Elia, Leduc, ETAL. 2015. In general, the co is defined as follows. Co equals 1. There are two commonly used methods to determine the co. One is the discounting method, second is the annuitizing method. In the discounting method as exhibited in EQ, 2, the present value of all expenditures, i.e. investment and O&M cost incurred during lifetime, CT is divided by the present value of electricity production during lifetime, MT. Since, the discounting or present value of power generation seems unintelligible and therefore, the idea can be understood that the electricity produced indirectly corresponds to the revenue from the sale of this energy, BAO ETAL, 2019. Install. Another important characteristic is that, as they use the sun as their energy source, the periods of maximum demand for water coincide with the periods of maximum solar radiation. When compared to diesel-powered pumping systems, 
the cost of solar PV water pumping system without any subsidy works out to be 64.2% of the cost off diesel pump, over a life cycle of 10 years. Solar pumps are available to pump from anywhere in the range of up to 200 m head and with outputs of up to 250 ma a superscript 3 slash day. In general, photovoltaic pumps are economic compared to diesel pumps up to approximately. In the annuitizing method as exhibited in EQ, 3, the present value of all expenditures incurred during project lifetime is determined and further converted to an equivalent annuity, using standard annuity formula such as capital recovery factor, CRF. Low maintenance and cost effective alternative to irrigation pump sets which run on grid electricity or diesel. A solar irrigation pump system method needs to take account of the fact that demand for irrigation system water will vary throughout the year. Peak demand during the irrigation system seasons is often more than twice the average demand. This means that solar pumps for irrigation are the capital recovery factor, CRF, is determined as follows underutilized for most of the year. The irrigation pump system should minimize water losses, without imposing significant additional head on the irrigation pumping system. The annuitizing methods convert the expenditure costs to a constant flow over time. This leads to appropriate results, when the flow of electricity output is constant. Generally, it is presumed that the annual electricity output is constant. However, the electricity output from renewable energy technologies varies drastically from day to day due to variations in the metrological conditions. Therefore, it can be justified that discounting method is more appropriate than the annuitizing methods for the co-calculations especially for the renewable energy systems, Buzidi, 2011. One of the misconceptions in co-calculation is that the summation does not begin from zero, zero, IET equals zero to consider the project cost at the beginning of the first year, BOETAL, 2019, dot the cost incurred in the first year should not be discounted to reflect present value and there is no system energy output to be degraded dot therefore, the investment cost which is one off payment and that occurs at the beginning of first year should be taken out from discounting. In this regard, the COE discounting and COE annuitizing can be written as follows and be of low cost. Therefore, by permanent increasing in the cost of conventional energy, majority of governments become more interested to associate with renewable energy sources to support their industries and society requirements which causes a considerable improvement in the solar sector. 6. Scope for further research Perspective From the cited literatures in this review paper, the following research avenues are identified in the field of SPVWPS and can be broadly classified in following three areas. Research on pump improvement. Development of hybrid pump, auto setup ability, which has characteristics of both centrifugal and helical rotor pumps to utilize PV electricity efficiently. Reduction of losses by manufacturing pump from zero friction resistance material. Development of small capacity pumps for nuclear family, requiring low power input and hence requires low. 5. Conclusions A review of current status of solar photovoltaic water pumping system technology research and applications is presented. Photovoltaic water pumping systems are especially designed to supply water and irrigation in areas where there is no mains electricity supply. Their main advantages over hand pumps or internal combustion engine pumps are their practically zero maintenance, their long useful life, that they do not require fuel, that they do not contaminate and finally that they are straightforward to. Fronts. Development of cheap techniques to prevent slash clean formation of dust on the PV panel front surface. Research on power management slash matching improvement. Development of cheap and simple technology MPPT slash controllers. Development of new optimization methods for sizing solar PV panel.